Yo, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hey, man, if you're new here or you've been here before and you haven't done it already, please, please consider subscribing to the channel. Like, comment, hit the notification bell. Make sure that you are aware when I drop a video. Um, if you've been with me for a while, you know that I like to drop knowledge and information about different medical careers and, you know, possibly help you pick the right one for you. Um, but on this video, I want to talk to you guys about um, the radiology department, you know, kind of like, um, what is that word I'm looking for? Like, chain of command. Like, who's in charge? What is their, basically, initial job? And this is for, like, new students, you know, like, if you're going to go to clinicals and stuff like that, and kind of, you kind of know what, you know, each, um, like, title means. So, this is kind of like a little breakdown, you know, so nothing crazy, nothing too in-depth, just a little bit about, you know, when you go in there, who do you kind of, like, have to look up to and be like, hey, you know, you can't mess with that person and get smart with them, because... You know, I shouldn't get smart with nobody, but you can't play around with certain people the way you play around with, like, general tech sometimes. Um, but this is a chain of command, right? So the first one is this. Yeah, so that's a student coordinator. So basically the tech, I mean, she's a regular, he's a regular tech, and they do images and exams as well. But it depends how big your hospital is. Um, they travel to different hospitals and take care of the students. Um, kind of orientate them, make sure that they know where they're going, kind of like help them, um, you know, get a, get acclimated to the hospital setting. And then they have the power to sign off on any kind of documents that the date that the student will need to advance the class or to pass that certain thing that they got to do. And radiology is called a comp, you know, so say you do a hand by yourself, that's a comp, you know, you comp the hand, you know, so the student coordinator can sit there and, um, and sign off everything they need for that student. Um, so they're very knowledgeable, really good at what they do. Uh, so that's their student coordinator. Two, student coordinator, clinical coordinator, same thing. Um, two, this one, and now you go with your leads. So basically your leads is a little bit higher than a regular tech. Your lead, you do um, like all the little things in the department that you know, like say we make a mistake, right? Say us techs, we uh, we go, we do a portable machine, but we we did a portable, say we did an x-ray on the wrong name and we caught it, we're like, oh, this ended. We did the correct patient, but we messed up the name, we put it under a different name. That's something that we mess up on, we're human, we, you know, we have a lot of patients, so we it happens. So that's when we go to our lead and be like, you know, sir, ma'am, can you please, I mess this up, can you please fix it? And that's where they come in, you know, and they fix a lot of issues that, you know, we mess up sometimes. Um, so that, that'll be your lead, you know. And then the third one, that'll be this one. Yeah, your supervisor. So sometimes it depends. Something they have, at my hospital currently, we have a, a day supervisor, which is Monday through Friday. And then we have a weekend supervisor, which is Saturday and Sunday only because our hospital is so big and we're always busy. But they're supervisor and, and they're supervisors for all the hospitals, not just one. So we have three, I think we have three in our hospital um, system. So they're, they're supervisor for the weekend, a supervisor for weekend for all three hospitals, not just the one that I'm at. Same thing for during the day. She's not just a supervisor Monday through Friday at one hospital, she's supervisor Monday through Friday to all three hospitals. So it's a lot, you know, and what they usually do is that, you know, they approve time off, they make the schedules, um, they uh, they do uh, image, um, like quality image, like they look at the image, like the, they sit down with the radiologist and they look at the x-rays that techs have been doing. And, uh, you know, they critique them and be like, okay, this was too dark, this one's too light. So they'll send you emails, be like, hey, can you please work on your technique? You know, here's something to help you type thing. Um, and it happens, man. Like I said, we're human, it happens, you know, and, you know, we just uh, continue education and you always learn something new, you know. So the fourth one is this. So it's a radiology manager. Um, radiology managers uh, are hardly, it depends. It depends how big your, your hospital system is. Uh, some hospital systems have them and some don't. Um, so the little hospital I, I started at, it's a rural hospital and then we just had a director and a supervisor, that's it. No leads, no, you know, weekend supervisor, nothing like that. It was just a director, supervisor, no manager, nothing like that. Um, but a manager, I think a manager and a director, and which is the last one, director, kind of work hand in hand, to be honest. Um, they're kind of like, you know, Batman and Robin per se, you know, and you know, they do everything else that the, 
that the supervisor believes um, that they don't do, you know, which is like sit with the CEO, COO, you know, make policies, procedures, you know, um, and they just trickled it down to us, you know. I'm sure there's a lot more to it that they do. I've never been a director, so I can't really say, you know, 100% what they do on a daily basis. But I know that they do a lot of um, a lot of the paperwork, a lot of things that, you know, say they put in a new CT room, they have to get everything situated for that. Um, so that's the chain of command. So it's clinical coordinator um, or student coordinator, um, uh, lead techs, supervisors, managers, and then directors. So that's your chain of command, guys. Hopefully this helped you guys out. So when you start your clinicals, you'll be like, okay, she's the lead, she's this, or she's the director, that's a big boss, you know, things like that. So it's cool to know, you know, what you're dealing with when you're going in there. You don't want to just go in there all like just not knowing anything. So, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you stay to the end. As always, thank you for your support. Thanks for watching.